Hey guys, Greg here, welcome back to my channel. So I think a fair few of you probably play guitar and at the moment I'm actually putting together some training on guitar which is completely free. Uh, but to find out what I should put in the training I'm just asking people to fill in a very short questionnaire. It just asks you kind of, you know, maybe what you're struggling with or things that you, you know, your goals, things that you might need help with. And there's a link to it in the description. If you could fill this in, it'd be much appreciated. And uh, once the training is complete, I'll email it to you and it'll answer all the questions within the, the questionnaire. And uh, yeah, I hope it helps you. Uh, yeah, so a couple of weeks ago, I started teaching at school again. And uh, one of the students wanted to learn Lucid Dreams by Juice World. And if you've heard this, you probably know, but if you haven't, it's actually sampled from Shape of My Heart by Sting, which I believe was played by Dominic Miller on the guitar. And uh, yeah, so it uses a few different chord shapes and it's quite fun to do. So yeah, without further ado, here it is. So a little disclaimer before we start, I have actually worked this out by ear, so I do apologise if it's not quite note for note, but I think it's pretty much there. Uh, it starts off with like an F sharp minor, which we play the fifth fret on the bottom string, or the bottom E, and then we've got uh, four on the D, and then two on the B, so we do E, D, B, E, hope that makes sense, so five, four, two, five on those strings. We're going to do two on the D and four on the E at the bottom. Then we've got two on the B and then back to E. So, and then we're going to do that same shape but two frets back. And then, so, what that is is going to be open D um, and then two on the E. And then we've got open D again, so, and then two, uh, sorry, open B, and then two on E. And then we're gonna go to C sharp seven. We're gonna play that with uh, four on the A, four on the G, and then six on the B, all together. So all together, uh, if we put all those bits together. We're going to do almost the same thing, but we're going to change the first chord. It's not going to be this, it's going to be this. And then everything else is going to be the same, so. So if you didn't catch what that chord is, it's actually uh, all you're doing to make it different is just instead of having two on the B, you're making it into three. We make it, putting it fret up to three. So you get that shape instead of that shape. Then we, then get me words out. Then we're going to go to D. This shape here. Um, so what that is is open D, then four on the G, seven on the B, and back to four on the G. Then we're going to do five on the E, and then uh, seven again on B, four on G. So all together. Then we're going to do an A add nine, which is open A, uh, two on the D and four on the G. We're going to leave the A ringing, and then we're going to do two and two on D and G. So we get. Then we're going to go back to our C sharp seven, and we're going to do all the notes separate, starting from the top. So. Then we're going to do a D like this which is uh, five on the A, seven on D, seven on G, and seven on B. And we're gonna repeat the, uh, the note on the B. Then we're gonna do this minor 11 shape, which is uh, four on the E, four on the D, four on the G, and two on the B. And then finish off with an F sharp minor. I use this technique sometimes, where it's kind of like a fan technique, but a fellow I had lessons with years ago, he used to do it a lot and I kind of picked it up off him. I think it sounds quite nice. 
So yeah, there were the parts of Shape of My Heart or Lucid Dreams by Juice World. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'll see you again soon.